In the enchanting world of royalty, where history intertwines with modernity and tradition dances with destiny, there exists a tale of love that transcends borders, cultures, and time itself. Today we embark on a journey, a journey that takes us deep into the heart of two extraordinary women who found themselves bound by love to men born into the illustrious legacies of royal families. This is the story of Anisha Isa Kalabik and Rajwa Al Saif, two women from different lands, yet whose paths converged in the most beautiful and profound ways. Their journeys to becoming royal wives of Prince Matin of Brunei and Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan are nothing short of a modern-day fairy tale where love triumphs and destiny unfolds in its most magical form. So sit back and let us explore the heartfelt, emotional and deeply romantic stories of these two radiant women who followed their hearts and stepped into a life you could ever imagine. Our first story begins with Anisha Isaac Kalebik, a woman whose life would forever change when love called her to the distant, yet deeply captivating kingdom of Brunei. Anisha, with her Croatian and Bruneian heritage, embodies a fusion of two worlds, East and West, tradition and modernity. She is a reflection of beauty that is both cultural and personal, her grace shining through her every step. Born to a Croatian mother and a Bruneian father, Anisha's upbringing was a beautiful blend of diversity. She was raised with the wisdom of two rich cultures, instilling in her a deep sense of understanding, empathy and strength. Little did she know her unique background would play a pivotal role in the love story that was yet to unfold. Prince Matin of Brunei, the dashing and beloved son of Sultan Hassan al Bolkaya, was one of the world's most eligible bachelors, known not just for his royal bloodline, but also for his humility adventurous spirit and passion for serving his country. He too was a reflection of this balance between modernity and tradition. His royal duties and service to the Bruneian people stood at the forefront of his life, but beneath the title and the crown, there was a man in search of something deeper, a love that was true and everlasting. And then, as if written by the stars, their paths crossed. Anisha's intelligence, beauty and grounded nature captivated Prince Matin it was not just her appearance that drew him in, but the way she carried her heritage, the deep pride she had in both of her worlds. Prince Matin saw in her a woman who understood the delicate dance between royal duty and the freedom of the soul. For Anisha, falling in love with Prince Matin wasn't about the title. It was about the person, the man who saw her for who she truly was. A man who cherished her values, her family and her spirit. Their love grew not in the spotlight, but in the quiet moments, moments of shared laughter, conversations that ran deep into the night and the soft whispers of dreams they would build together. Prince Matin, as a prince of Brunei, has long been seen as a modern royal who balances his royal duties with his adventurous spirit and down-to-earth personality. His dedication to his country and the values he upholds as a member of the Brunei royal family are remarkable. Whether it's through military service, promoting sports or supporting charitable causes, Prince Matin stands as an example of a young leader who is deeply committed to the well-being of his people. By his side, Anisha brings not only her grace but also her own strengths as a well-educated and culturally diverse individual. Together, they symbolize a marriage that embraces different traditions, yet they move forward united in their shared values. For many young people around the world, Anisha and Prince Matin show that love and commitment to service can coexist beautifully with embracing one's individuality and diverse heritage. When they stood before their families in a celebration of love and unity, it wasn't just a royal wedding, it was a testament to the power of love that transcends borders, cultures, and status. Anisha became a part of the royal family of Brunei, but she remained true to herself, a woman of strength, of grace, and of love. Now we travel to another land, another love story that shines just as brightly under the golden desert sun. Rajwa Al Saif, a woman of elegance, intellect, and profound beauty, was born into a prominent Saudi family, but her destiny would take her to Jordan, into the arms of a man destined to be King Crown Prince Hussein. Rajawa, raised with the values of her Arab heritage, embodied a modern woman educated, poised and ambitious. Her passion for architecture led her across the world to the United States, where she pursued her studies at Syracuse University. It was here, far from her homeland, that she honed her mind, building dreams of her own, 
never knowing that halfway across the world, there was a prince who would one day share those dreams. Prince Hussein, like his Jordanian forefathers, carried the weight of his nation's legacy on his shoulders. His every action was a reflection of his dedication to his people, but in his heart, he too sought love, a love that would ground him, a love that would walk beside him through the challenges and triumphs of a life that was anything but ordinary. When Prince Hussain met Rajua, it was as though time stood still. Rajua's intelligence, her warm heart, and her independent spirit captivated him. Here was a woman who was not just fit to be a queen one day, but who would be a partner, a confidante, a soulmate. For Rajua, Prince Hussain represented a love that was both grand and intimate. Yes, he was the future king of Jordan, but to her, he was simply Hussain, the man whose kindness, strength, and vision matched her own. Their love blossomed quickly, but deeply like a desert rose, resilient and beautiful. As they prepared for their wedding, the people of Jordan and the world watched in awe. But for Rajua and Hussein, it was not the grandeur of the event that mattered. It was the vows, the promises, the love they shared in their hearts. On their wedding day, Rajua stood by Hussein's side, not just as a princess, but as a partner ready to take on the world with him. Together, Rajua and Prince Hussein are the embodiment of a monarchy that remains deeply connected to its people while looking ahead to the future. They are a couple who understand the weight of their roles, yet they carry it with humility and purpose. Their love story, which transcends royal duties, inspires countless others to believe in the possibility of building strong, meaningful relationships even under the immense pressure of public life. Their union was more than just a royal occasion, it was the union of two souls destined to walk through life together. Rajwa and Hussain reminded the world that even amidst the splendor of royalty, it is love that makes a marriage, and it is love that builds a home. Anisha and Raja were two women from different worlds, yet united in the common thread of love that knows no boundaries. They married not just princes, but men who see them for who they truly are strong, intelligent, compassionate women. Together, they represent the new face of royalty, a modern royalty that honors tradition while embracing the future. Both Anisha and Rajwa come from diverse backgrounds, and their marriages to Prince Matin and Crown Prince Hussein showcase the beauty of blending cultures. They highlight the importance of inclusivity and the strength that comes from understanding and appreciating different heritages. Whether it's through Prince Matin's military service or Crown Prince Hussein's youth initiatives, these couples show that leadership is about more than ceremony, it's about giving back. They use their platforms to promote causes that matter, from education to mental health, youth empowerment to cultural preservation. In a world where relationships are often tested by public life, both couples have displayed an incredible bond built on mutual respect and love. They are partners in the true sense of the word, supporting one another through their roles and responsibilities while maintaining a deep personal connection. They remind us that love is the greatest equalizer. Whether in a palace or in the quiet corners of life, love remains the most beautiful and powerful force in the universe. Anisha and Rajwa stepped into a world few can imagine, but they did so with hearts full of love, courage and grace. As we close this chapter on the love stories of Anisha and Prince Matin, and Rajawa and Crown Prince Hussain, we can only wish them a lifetime of happiness, unity and love. May their journeys continue to inspire and may their love only grow stronger with each passing day. To Anisha and Matin, may your love be as bright as the stars over Brunei's skies. And to Rajwa and Hussain, may your love bloom eternally under the warm Jordanian sun. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful journey of love and destiny. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Dynasty, where we bring you the most captivating stories of royalty, wealth and power from around the world. Stay tuned for more.